Hey, Jason from Theme Punch here, and in this video I'm going to be exploring the brand new Slider Revolution Visual Editor with you. So I'm going to go ahead and import a template here from the library, and I'm going to choose Restaurant Menu. And to edit that template, just click the Edit icon there. And here we are in the new editor. So today I'm going to explore the editor a little bit with you. I'm going to show you this top menu here, this right panel, and also talk about the timeline toward the bottom. So to get back to your WordPress dashboard, just click the WordPress icon here. If you want to head back to the Slider Revolution overview page, you can click the back button. If you want to add a new slide under the slides menu here, add slide, blank slide. I can add a slide from a template, which is really cool. I can choose a slide from any of these templates. And if I want to switch between slides, I simply choose another one. And if I want to change the order of the slides, all I have to do is just drag them on top of one another like this. If I had global layers, which is content that would appear on top of all the slides, that could be added right here. And then if I want to delete a slide or duplicate a slide, I have those options as well. So the next item in the menu is Add Layer. I can add text, image, a button, video. One of the cool new features is Quick Style Content. And you can see this brings up a panel of predefined styles, headlines, paragraphs, just making it really easy to get started with some content. And another new option is I can add a layer from the layer library here. And these are just groups of predefined layers and layer animations that make it really easy to get started with adding content to your slides. Next toward the top here, I can rename a layer. I can duplicate it. I can copy it and paste it into another slide if I wanted to. I can delete it. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the one we added. I can lock it if I don't want it to be editable anymore, and I can also toggle its visibility in the editor. So next toward the right, I can choose how I want to select layers. If I chose drag to select, then I can select all the layers at once, and this is really cool. Once I have them selected, I can just go ahead and move them. And the next option right here is Undo Redo. So we can just click Undo and revert that change. Next toward the top, we have our device views. So for this particular template, we only have a desktop and a mobile view, but I could also enable notebook and tablet if I wanted. So here I can just go ahead and switch between the different device views and edit my content for that particular device. The next option here is the new help mode. And basically what I can do with this is if I find an option that I would like to learn about, I can go ahead and hover over it, and then it'll tell me a little bit about this option. I can click Documentation to learn more about it. And then if I wanted to, I could search for an option here. So for example, Module Background Color, and then I could read more about it in the documentation, or I could click Show Option, and that'll take me right to the option inside the right panel here where I can change the background color of the entire module here. And then we have our quick style content. If I wanted to change any of this right here, I could change it instantly. And that is our top menu right here. So let's explore the right panel. The right panel is basically where all the magic happens. So right up here we have four main items. The first one is the slider settings. The second one is the navigation settings. The third is the current slide settings. And the fourth is the layer settings. So any layer that I have selected, I can edit that layer here in the layer settings. So let's explore these just a little bit. In the slider settings here, I have layout. I can choose full width, full screen. I can enable the different device views here if I wanted. 
content, I can convert this to a post-based slider. Maybe I want to pull in Instagram images. I can also activate add-ons for this module right here. Just go ahead and install, activate any of the multiple add-ons. So in navigation, I could enable a progress bar here and I can have arrows. This particular template has arrows, bullets, tabs, thumbs, all the good stuff here. In my slide options here, I have a main background. This is an image right here, but I could change that if I wanted. And I can also, maybe I want to just choose, I don't know, a, a gradient for the background. Could do that. And my slide animation here, I could add a new animation just by clicking Add Transition. And then go ahead and select one of the options and you get live previews now which is very very cool and there's some great new features here loop layers on scroll I'm gonna go ahead and cover this in the new features video so definitely stay tuned for that these are two of the best new options with slider revolution 6.0 so for the layers panel if I select a layer here I have content here you can see I can edit the text if I click style, I can edit the font size, line height, text color, font family, choose a background for the layer if I want. Inside the animation section here, I can choose how the layer first appears with the in options. I can choose how it disappears with the out options. And if you select one of the categories here, you get live previews just like the slide animations. And in the previous version of the plugin, you could only have an in and an out animation for a layer. But now we've added keyframes. So right here, if you click the plus button, it's basically an additional animation in between the in and the out. And you can add as many additional animations as you want, which really allows you to create rich sequenced animations just you can go crazy designing something really, really cool with this option. So next up here, we have hover options. I could add a hover style to that layer if I wanted to. I could add a link if I wanted to to the layer here. And I can also adjust the responsive settings for the layer. So for example, if I didn't want this layer to appear on one of the device views, I could just disable one of these options here. Okay, so lastly is the Timeline Editor here. So if you want a larger view of your canvas, you can just click the X. That'll sort of toggle that down. And I can also bring it back up just by dragging it like this. Toward the left, we have always our slide animation at the top and then all of the layers stacked below that. And then right here, you have the visual representation of the animation for the slides background and all the layers. So if you remember for this layer here, we added a few additional keyframe animations and those are represented right here and here. So we have the first animation, a couple of keyframes, and then at the very end, it'll animate out. So if I want, I can change when this animation begins just by dragging it with my mouse, just like this. I can change the duration of the animation by dragging the corner, just like this. And then I can change the Z index, or the stacking order of the layers, just by dragging them on top of one another, like this. And if I want to preview the animations, I can just click play here, and it'll just run through the entire slide. And if I happen to have a long timeline toward the bottom here, I can drag this horizontal scroll bar. You can see it'll just scroll till as long as, depending on how you set your slide up. Okay, so that's the introduction to the new visual editor. I'm going to continue to show you things with this video series, so please stay tuned and thanks for watching.